The Imam in the Dua of Abu Hamza, if a person reads through it, first he goes to discuss the Ma'rif of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After which, uh, he speaks about the paths to success and happiness in this world and the Akhirah. He then goes to do Dua himself and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for certain needs. After which, he ends by speaking about accepting one's faults and shortcomings. In this Dua, if a person, the Dua is very extensive. But every single section of this dua has keys of ma'arif and keys of ma'arif and cognizance. For example, he mentions in one part of the dua that whenever I stand up to pray towards you, I become tired. Nu'as, he says, comes onto me whenever I try to stand and pray to you, Ya Allah. Of course, he's not talking about himself. He's talking about us. He says some, some people, as soon as they do, Allahu Akbar, as soon as it comes to open the Quran, they begin to yawn. Why? He mentions there five or six or maybe more reasons as to why a person, when he wishes to do ibadah, is unable to do ibadah and worship. He says, for example, because I am mustakhifan bihaqqik, I don't adhere to your right, ya Allah. Number two, I am in majalis al-battalin, majalis of people that are doers of wrong, the majalis where uh, gatherings which have no benefit of ghiba and gossip and these issues. He says, and بعد تني, and I was away from the majalis and the gatherings of ulama and scholars. He goes and highlights all of these reasons. In other words, making this a lesson for me and you as to how I can improve my ibadat and worship. That these are the things that I've done in my life, which made me not have a connection with my Lord. In each section, he, for example, speaks about um, how... Uh, low of a servant he is in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each section has some sort of ma'rifah or some sort of way in which a person can improve their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.